Hello, it's Sarah, and tonight I have a couple more applique clay pieces to share. Um, I ended up going to Hobby Lobby and I got a few other bezels, different shapes and sizes. I also received my order from Resin Obsession, so I, I got a few from them, which I love, and I did a couple of these. This one's from um, Hobby Lobby. This one's from Re <clears throat> excuse me, Resin Obsession. So a couple of different shapes and sizes to play with. Um, um, all right, so let's get started. I had shown these the other day and, you know, I was still getting the perspective right and figuring out where to put things and um, I think I'm getting there. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Like this one is very similar to the green one, but I kind of made this flower, the white flower hang down a little more. I like the look of that. Um, so I'm adding, I'm trying to add some curly cues to things because I just really like the look of those. Um, this one's just really kind of, I played with, did one main focal, focal flower and then kind of did the, the swirlies up the side. I want to do that again. I want to play with those a little more with the buds along the vine. I like that. And I did a couple, um, this was the, um, daisy one I had done and I used the, um, seed beads as centers. So I wanted to make a couple more of those without the seed beads. Um, I really like this bezel. This is from Hobby Lobby and it has like a braided edge to it and it has like a little more of a jewelry, um, bale to it too. It's all one piece. So I kind of like that. And then this little daisy one. So those are the ones I made last night. I like those. Then I have, I did these today. So this was the first one I did and I really, really loved it. This is the um, Hobby Lobby ba bale and it's um, um, bezel, I'm sorry. And the bale is just like a round circle. It's very um, kind of like geometric shape, you know, but I really like it. And you can't even tell the, it has a brown background. I just covered it with clay. <laughs> Um, with flowers, just kind of like this one, like I did this one, which I really love this one too. But you can see a lot more of the blue. But I love this style, so I did that one today. And then I did, this one was another one of those um, braided uh, edges ones. And I really like this one. I actually made two of these because the first one, when I went to take them out of the oven, they were all done and they were hot still hot. So I just kind of scooped them out and grabbed them and put them in my pocket, my sweatshirt pocket. And so they cooled in my pocket and they were kind of stuck together. So when I pulled them apart, a couple of the things came off. I fixed them now. I took them out of the bezel right away because I just wanted, I didn't, I, they couldn't be imperfect. I loved them and I was very, very disappointed, but I thought, okay, I'll make another one. And I did. So this is kind of um, you know what? No two pieces are alike. When you make handmade stuff, it's never ever going to be alike. I mean, I tried to follow the same design and it did not come out the same. Um, I really like it. It came out fine. And then this was the hunker I made on the big bezel and I love this piece. Um, and again, you can, you can tell the difference. I mean, I basically followed the same theme, but I'm a little disappointed because I like the separation between the two purple flowers better on this one. So, I mean, it doesn't bother, it probably doesn't bother anybody, but it just, I notice it. Um, I like how there's more room at the top. Like, it's just design. It's just where you put things. So, no two are ever going to be the same. Like, I just, I was following this, but it came out like that. So, I don't know. But I just like how there's a little more separation between the purple. I think that looked better. So, I should have either made a different color flower there or something like put this pink one over here and the purple here, you know, like just with design, that's what you got to kind of figure out. So that's all my bezels for now. But then I was at Hobby Lobby and I found these little boxes, these little paper mache boxes. I got five, I got two hearts and I got a circle, a square, and an o a rectangle, I mean, and an oval. And just for size comparison, this is the little heart that I did previously. I mean, my hand is on it. I mean, I'll try to pull back a little more. You know, I mean, they're, this is small. It's kind of cute. It's like more petite. And I thought that would be better for, um, to show off this applique technique. Like this one works well with just the swirlies and like, 
you know, I love this box. I think it turned out great, but I just wanted to try the applique technique on a little bit bigger canvas, so to speak. Um, so this is what I made today. This is the oval. And I'm really happy with it. I tr just went at it. I didn't know what I thought I was going to kind of have a focal center and kind of go up the side. That's what I was thinking. I even drew a picture here. <laughs> I did. This is like what I was th thinking of. And I just, it didn't, that's not where I went. <laughs> I just started putting flowers down and, and it just turned into what it turned into. So, um, basically, you know what too, I'm not really thrilled with um, the swirly design on the on the bottom of the box. It's just a paper mache box and I covered it with clay. I glue it down with like yellow glue, oh, I'm sorry, yellow, white glue and um, just started um, appliqueing and I did end up putting the texture, uh, little texture dots on there. Renee suggested she likes to do that and I thought there was some open space and since I didn't emboss the clay on top I thought all right I'll just I'll do it that way and I really love how it turned out. I got to work on birds and bugs and things. I want to add like butterflies and things like that. So um, I used a little metal word and I have joy and I have hope. So I think I'm going to put those on some of my other boxes like I might put joy on the heart you know and have words on the boxes and have hope maybe on in the corner so that's what I'm doing guys and I'm, I'm enjoying this very much and I think that I may be tempted to put these on my Etsy store like definitely the boxes why not I think they're they're definitely something that I don't I haven't seen um, the applique is usually in jewelry so um, also I wanted to say this one has not been varnished or glazed or anything um, this is a matte varnish and this is not let's see this is matte these have not been varnished and this is matte so I'm thinking I like the matte finish and I might try a satin I'm gonna have to go to the, sh the store and see but I did these with sat um, with the um, glaze the high polish and I'm get I don't know I'm not sure that I like it with the high polish as much um, I think the applique kind of pops better with either nothing on it or the matte I'm kind of liking the matte because it does give it a shine you can still see the shine and there's bubbles all over this because I'm throwing that out I was so old that matte varnish I had but um this one hasn't had anything done to it and I might put them like get a mat and put it on just to seal it and make sure everything stays where it's supposed to be. But um, all right, you guys, that's all I have for today. Um, I'm going to be back with a couple more boxes to share. All right. Thanks for watching.